Only governor and party leader. You know what I'm The rest should just enjoy. So this is not a press conference. You must ask the question. Yeah. Because I need to prepare. Okay. Shoot your question. We have only three questions. Yes. See your name and video house. Yeah. I'm Renzo Mnyamwezi. Yes. 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 For them to sell the document to the people, I don't know how we can say we can get about it. What are you asking me? What are you asking me? I'm going to talk about BBI tomorrow. I don't know why you want me to preempt what I'm going to say tomorrow. Uh, but um, we've discussed a lot of things about BBI. As you know, BBI is a big animal. It's uh, like, you know, it has got legs, it has got horns, it has got uh, tails, and so on and so forth. Like when you're talking about um, Taita Taveta County, here, for example, there's pastoralism as a way of life, and there's also the game parks, the national parks. And you can see that in the BBI, uh, emphasis has been laid in certain sectors. In the past, there was a much more emphasis on agriculture. This emanated from section, uh, I mean, um, uh, session of paper number 10 of 1965, which talked of the government investing in high yielding areas with a high rate of return, and that the marginalized areas or arid and semi arid areas would benefit from the trickle-down effect. That is what has informed planning and development in the country, which has resulted in this uh, stilted kind of uh, growth and development. Some areas have remained marginalized for a long time. And in order to do this fast, you come up in the, with the BBI, talking about, for example, extending the equalization fund from 20 years to 30 years. Secondly, we are now talking about uh, enhancing development in the pastoral area, investing there, supporting them with extension services, for example, for their animals, putting up facilities for processing of meat in those areas. Then the areas where there's the game parks, like in Teta Taveta, that also has been factored in the BBI. Another area which has been neglected for a long time is the blue economy. And that also is captured very well in, in, in the BBI. So Teta Taveta is going to be a major beneficiary. But apart from that, Teta Taveta is also going to benefit from um, increased allocation to the counties. They, they are going to get uh, a lot of more, more money at, uh, when the, the BBI is passed. Fourthly, right now Toyota Taveta has got four constituencies. There are two constituencies which are basically uh, protected. Under the 2010 constitution, those two constituencies are supposed to die. So the, unless the BBI is passed, Taita Taveta is going to end up with only two constituencies. That means about a loss of 200 million shillings on an annual basis. So it is surely in the interest of the people of Taita Taveta to ensure that BBI is passed so that they don't lose two constituencies. Mm. 
Pwani ni sehemu ya Kenya. Na katika kila sehemu kuna mambo ambayo inahusu hiyo sehemu ya maksusi ambaye ahusi eneo zingine za taifa la Kenya. Kwa mfano ukienda kule upande ya, ya magharibi kuna muungano ya counties ya, ya mkanda ya ziwa ya Victoria. Kuna vile vile muungano ya ma counties uh, around uh, Milima ni Makenya. Uh, na vile vile counties ambazo ziko magharibi eh, ya Kenya. Kwa hivyo hakuna kitu special. Viongozi hapa pwani wamekuwa na uhusiano kwa muda mrefu zaidi. Na wana haki ya kuongea juu ya siasa ambayo na husu eneo hii na wana pwani. Lakini yale ambayo ile ushauri naweza kuwapatia ni kuhakikisha kwamba pwani isitenganishwe kutoka kwa taifa la Kenya. Pwani ni Kenya. Waungane na, na, na wa Kenya. Na vile mnavyojua tumesema katika katiba ati Kenya is a multi-party democracy. And we want to have national political parties. Mana kitukianza mambo ya vyama vya vya majimbo sasa sisi tunataka kutenganisha Kenya. Tunataka wa Kenya wewe kama kitu kimoja. Kwa hivyo kama wewe unataka kuunda chama, sasa hiyo katiba haikuruhusu kuanzisha chama ya uh, ukoo au chama ya kikabila. Tunataka vyama vya kitaifa tuongee mambo yetu kama wa Kenya kwa jumla hiyo ni ushauri wa mimi ningependa kuwapatia viongozi wa wa pwani sawa sawa kwa chama hichi cha ODM. Sio una una ujumbe gani ama unaweza kuna ushauri gani? Wewe ukiongoza kwa chama hichi. Hiyo ni sawa. Chama cha ODM ni chama cha ya kitaifa. Na wakati huo viti vyote vya kitaifa vinakuwa wazi. Kuanzia wa MCA, wa bunge, wa seneta wa governor wa governor na na rais na kwa hivyo uh, ODM ni chama ya kitaifa watu wako na nafasi ya kuwania viti katika viwango vyote hizo MCA uh, MPs uh, senators uh, governors na rais kwa hivyo eh uh, uh, Ali Hassan Joho tena yeye ndio naibu wa kiongozi wa wa chama yeye na na mheshimiwa uh, uh, Paranya wana haki uh, na sio wao peke yake peke yao kwa kila mtu Kenya ana haki ya kuwania kiti ya rais kwa tiketi ya chama cha ODM wale wanachama wa ODM ndio wataamua ni nani ambaye anastahili kwa njia ya kidemokrasia. Hiyo ndio demokrasia. Kwa hiyo mimi naunga mkono kabisa hiyo hatua ya mheshimiwa Ali Hassan Jo. Sawa mheshimiwa gavana labda utupige kidogo tu ziara ya mheshimiwa Ali. kama mnavoona ni kwamba ni rasmi ya kwamba kiongozi wetu Raila Odinga amewasili kwa kaunti hii Mmeona vile amepokelewa kwa vifijo, shangwe na nderemu na tayari tumeanza mikutano mbalimbali. Mbali. Tayari kitambo tufike hapa tumeweza kuwa na mkutano wa kuweza kuongea masuala ya KWS pamoja na wananchi mbalimbali wa kaunti hii. Ukijua kwamba tumekuwa tukiumia. 
si wanyamapori kuharibu mazao ya wakulima wetu si pia wafugaji wetu kujipata katika hali tata na watu wa KWS si mambo ya compensation na tumekuwa na mkutano mzuri pale chini na tulipokuwa tunakuja hapa kwa sababu tukiwa pale kiongozi alikuwa ameanza kuwatafuta wakuu wa KWS na kufikia hapa ndio mnaona tumekaa muda mrefu sana kwa simu kwa sababu ameweza kupata ofisi kuu za Nairobi na tumezungumza kwa undani na tumekubaliana mwafaka fulani na hata karibuni nitaongoza viongozi kwenda Nairobi pamoja na viongozi fulani wa jamii mbalimbali twende kutafuta suluhisho mwafaka baina ya shida ya sisi wana kaunti ya Taita Taveta na KWS. Pia kesho tutakuwa na ziara na mikutano ya hadhara. Asubuhi atakuwa ofisini kwangu ambapo tutakuwa na mazungumzo kidogo. Ataweza pia kutembelea ile hospitali kubwa jambo ambalo alijaifanyika. Kufikia sasa tumejenga hospitali ya vitanda 160 ambayo itakuwa na ICU ambayo itakuwa na theater ambayo vile vile pia itakuwa na private wing na hospitali hiyo imekaribia kuisha kwa hivyo atakuwa akiangalia namna kazi inavyoendelea kutoka hapo tutaingia pia mwatate kuna soko kubwa la zaidi ya milioni 35 soko limekaribia kukamilika pia atafanya ziara hiyo pia baadaye tutaenda Mwakinyungu primary aende azindue shule pale baadaye tutakuwa Mbololo pia akutane na wananchi pia mwatate kutakuwa na mkutano mkubwa sana wa kusukuma ajenda ya BBI kwa sababu kutoka mwanzoni tumesema tunaunga BBI mkono na nilisema nikiwa kama gavana wa kaunti hii siwezi kubali ati nitapoteza eneo bunge moja ati kwa sababu ya katiba ya 2010 nimesema mara kwa mara kuna siku katiba itakuwa nzuri ya kufurahisha kila mtu imetusavu miaka kumi, unaona hatari kwa miaka kumi kwa wataita na wataveta ati kwa vile tu kufikisha idadi fulani ya watu sasa tupunguze eneo moja la bunge hiyo ni kupunguza shilingi milioni mia mbili. hiyo ni kupunguza huduma karibu na mwananchi kwa hivyo nikiwa kiongozi governor i'm leading from the front i'm not going to allow at my people to lose a constitution just because we are being told ati haiko sawa kabisa si hata 2020 haikuwa sawa kabisa sasa mbona 2010 2010 haikuwa sawa kabisa. So mbona 2010 ilikuwa ni sawa lakini sasa hii si sawa. Tuondoe siasa na porojo na propaganda. Let us tell our people facts. I've had arguments at mnaongezea 15% to 35% na haikuji. Can we face facts? Tuondoe uongo. Shida ya pesa kukuja imekuja wakati wa COVID. One year ndio shida mingi ya pesa kuchelewa all over the world it is not america europe ulimwengu mzima umetatizika kiuchumi na shida ya corona and this was a period ambayo tumepitia so that was the main reason kwa nini pesa zilikuwa zinachelewa chelewa lakini si afadhali nipitishe kutoka 15% mpaka 35% ndio hata zikichelewa bado zitakuja si zikikuja bado zitafanya maendeleo those are the issues ambazo mwananchi anataka kufurahia. Word mashinani kuna percentage itaenda direct ya maendeleo. Surely a small community kama mimi hapa taita taveta yenye hatuna population kubwa unaniambia nikatae 15% kuongezeka tu 35%. Hivyo ninaongoza wananchi au ninawamaliza. So that is the tour and we support BBI imepita kwa assemblies We are happy Taita Taveta ilipitisha pia sasa hii tunazunguka pwani tukiwa na baba referendum inakuja eh wacha wakati ufike mtu kwa mtu mashinani BBI Taita Taveta rao na samboja rao na uhuru samboja na uhuru